Welcome everyone to the eMedica AKT Pass Guarantee Program for the 90 day program for the October 2022 AKT exam. So for those that haven't met me before, I'll give you a brief introduction in a minute, but let me just go through how the webinar format will work. Primarily, this is just an orientation. So, you know, it's a chance for you to meet the team, for us to go over how does the Pass Guarantee Program work? How do you submit your daily tasks and your weekly tasks? Chance for you to ask any questions, so it won't take long today. It's just a half hour. It's an orientation. The actual program, remember, is going to start on Thursday. So those of you that have joined a while ago, you already should have received your welcome pack. I know a few people um, signed up really quite late. So your welcome pack is on the way to you. But one of the things you see in there is right at the top of the box, you'll see this little postcard, which has this uh, quote from Lao Tzu, that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And it's really, really important because for a lot of people, the thought of preparing for the AKT can be hugely overwhelming. It's a huge curriculum. It's a big task. And it can just seem like it's endless. You know, a thousand miles sounds like a lot, doesn't it? When you're starting that, and you've taken a huge first step by joining a structured program where all of your learning will be laid out, organized, and you'll be guided every step. So all you need to do, you've taken the first step. Now, all you need to do is each day, just focus on the tasks in your daily email and just focus on one step at a time. And you're here now, but one step, one step, before you know it, you've climbed the mountain, you're gonna look back the day before your exam and you'll see how much work you've covered and how much more confident you'll feel because you will have gained the knowledge needed to pass the exam well. And you'll also have improved your exam technique and be ready for it, okay? So, you know, well done on taking that first step and for trusting us and, and the team to sort of guide you along the way. Of course you still got to climb the steps. you still got to do the work every day. It's a really hard program. It's really intensive workload, okay? But what you don't need to worry about is what do I need to read? What work do I need to do? What questions should I do? What resources? You just need to follow the email and do the work, okay? It's still hard work, but we're with you every step. But well done on taking that first step. So let me just uh, do introductions and give you a chance to meet the team. So for those that haven't met me, my name is Mohibur Rahman. I'm a portfolio GP and the medical director of eMedica. I did my own GP training in Neathport Talbot in South Wales and passed MRCGP with merit back in 2007. And I was awarded FRCGP in 2019 for my work in medical education in promoting GP careers and humanitarian medicine. I'm one of the authors of the prescribing safety assessment. I've also written study guides, articles, sample questions for our question banks for MRCGP, AKT, sample cases for CSA, RCA. Um, I was an examiner and invigilator for the GMC for their PLAB part two, the OSCE based exam. And I continue to examine for Liverpool Medical School for third year and final year OSCEs. Um, so I've been involved in teaching um, and supporting people to get through MRCGP now for over 17 years. I'll just uh, get the team to say hello. Um, so if I just introduce you to Masuda Rahman. First, so uh, Mr. Rahman is Director of eLearning at eMedica, one of the uh, core team members since the very early days of eMedica, and she will be on the faculty for all of the courses and webinars, and also supporting to deal with queries that come in throughout the whole program. So I'll hand you over to Ms. Um So hello, welcome. Just to, we're going to be spending a lot of time together over the next three months. Um, so really today, just for us to say welcome to the program and um, Whatever happens and for the rest of this three months, you're not alone for any part of it. We're going to be seeing your work come in every day. We're going to be seeing you online on the webinars. Just remember that we're here. We're here to support you. Drop us an email, ask questions on the webinars. That's what we're there for. Um, you'll be surprised how well you feel like you've got to know us. And we're always surprised how well we feel like we get to know you and how attached we get to every cohort. We're going to be thinking about you on the day of the exam, we're going to be waiting with you on the edge of our seats for those results to come out. So just whatever happens, remember, you're not alone. And we are here. Thanks very much, Masuda. I just introduced you to Anna Greathead. So Anna Greathead is one of the core members of our eMedica e-learning team. She's also going to be on the faculty for every single AKT course and webinar and dealing with queries. Um, Anna also deals with a lot of the online learning at eMedica in terms of uh, you know preparing some of the tech side of things. And she is the admin for the PGP WhatsApp group for each cohort. So we will set up a WhatsApp group 
and we will send you a link in the welcome email, which you'll receive in a couple of days. Uh, feel free, if you'd like to join the WhatsApp group, to join. We can't add you to it because of data protection. The link is there. You add yourself. Okay, so I'll hand you over to Anna. Hi, um, as Masuda said, um, we really do feel like we get to know you quite well during this programme. Um, and we've been doing this for um, several AKT exam rotations now. So we really recognise some of the, the regular you know, concerns and things that people have. And if I can just offer you three short pieces of advice as you embark on this programme, my first would be to commit to the programme. It is intensive. It is hard work, but it does work. So really do, you know, make sure you commit to it. Make sure you get the work done, even when you're a bit tired, even at the end of a busy day. Keep that work, that momentum going because it really will pay off. And the next thing is to get organised. Um, it's so easy to waste time by not being able to um, not be able to find a particular email or not remembering whether you've submitted something or not. So try and be as organised as you can so you can um, keep that momentum going and not have to keep going forwards and backwards. And then finally, trust the process. Um, it is a very difficult programme to start with, particularly, and people can feel a bit disheartened sometimes. Um, but actually, we're trying to teach you something. We're not trying to test your knowledge at this part. We're trying to really build, build your knowledge. So don't be disheartened when scores aren't as you hope at the beginning, because the process really does work. And as you get further and further in, um, you'll really start to reap the benefits. So really looking forward to getting to know you all and um, working with you and, and getting great news from you in a few months time. Thank you, Anna. And I introduce you now to Dr. Kennedy Umej, who is our eMedic AKT mentor. So, you know, one of the great things is, you know, you've got people on the team like Masuda and Anna, huge experience in medical education, in supporting trainees. Uh, you know, myself, who sat the precursor to the AKT a long time ago, and I've been involved in educating and teaching and supporting doctors to get through MRC CGP for many years. But what's brilliant about having someone like Dr. Kennedy in the program as a mentor is that, Kennedy has sat exactly the same exam you're going to sit and he's been through your shoes. So Kennedy was in one of the earlier programs of the PGP and he scored 95% overall in the exam and he's been supporting future doctors. So, um, you know, Kennedy is just coming to the end of his training now, but he's very recently um, been through what you've been through. And so I think that can really help in dealing with and knowing what some of the pressures where he's been working and being a GP trainee through the pandemic and that brings its own pressures. And, and, and so, you know, really fortunate that he stayed with us to support and, and, and help uh, future cohorts. So I'll hand you over to Kennedy. Hello, I, uh, it's good that you're here in this program. Just want to welcome all of you. I was once uh, where you are at the moment, you know, with all the anxiety, all the pressure of not knowing how, what, whether I'm, I was going to be able to make the AKT after hearing stories on how tough the AKT was. But then, like what uh, Dr. Rahman has told you, just believe in the program and, 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 and follow each day as it comes. It requires sacrifice. It doesn't, success will not come on, on, on a platter. It, it will require you to sacrifice certain things kind of make yourself uncomfortable for the ultimate uh, goal of success in the AKT. So just make sure that you try as much as possible to finish your daily tasks as a priority. Finish your daily tasks. You will get some question banks, uh, queue bank blocks of questions with your daily tasks. Don't focus on your scores because some people get discouraged by their scores at the initial stage. Just use it as a learning process. Learn, or learn from the questions you fail. Read about it, refer to your CKS. You, this program is so structured at the moment that you get all the information you need. If you have extra time to do extra resources, you do that. But don't focus on your scores on the question banks. I get so many candidates getting depressed when they score low. Don't do that. It's a learning process. If you want to, if you are going to join the WhatsApp forum, I will be there to kind of answer questions as well and kind of uh, share my insight on how to, you know, prepare and how to overcome certain challenges. But if you've got questions, that is a forum where peers can support each other. People raise questions and the group members address them. Those that cannot be addressed by the group come to me. Some people, some very people also ask personal questions. We'll be there to see you through the whole program. And if you if you follow and do the right things and follow the tax, you are going to succeed. There, there are no two ways about it. I, I just wish you all the best and I'll, I'll be meeting you in the, in the water forum. 
Thank you very much, Kennedy. Nice to see you again. Yeah, I nice see you. <laughs> okay, great. So, and then you're going to also receive emails, and you know, sometimes if you've got queries and you contact the team uh, via email, you might get responses. You might already have, you know, uh, been sent things in the post, for example, by different members of the team. So, you know, we're all here to support you. So, you you may see things from Selena Begum, Tuba Jamil, Jabeta Khatun, Rabia Hussein, Mariam Bit Mukmin. Uh, you know, these are all the other core members of the eMedica team. Okay, so we're all here to support you. So, let me explain how the program works, um, and then, as I said. You know, you've met the team. We'll take some uh, time to answer any questions that you've got. But hopefully by the time we've gone through this, it will be really, really clear. OK, so what happens is every single day around five o'clock in the morning, you'll get an email from us. And within that email, it will lay out all of the daily tasks that you need to get done within the next 24 hours. You've got to complete all of the daily tasks before the next email. OK. Every week or so there's also a weekly task so the daily task you've got to get done before the next email within 24 hours the weekly task there'll be a set deadline it'll be written in the email i'll show you exactly what it looks like but you've got you know a week or so sometimes just more than a week sometimes exactly a week to get the weekly task done so it's important that you keep on top of things and keep to time because this program is structured in a way there is a very big difference between someone that, for example, didn't do anything for three or four days and they try to cram it all compared to someone that does it, their work on time in terms of how you retain things and how it goes into long term memory. You can see it's very different going to the gym every day for half an hour and then going to the gym once in a month, but staying there for 10 hours. You're not going to get the same growth. You're not going to get the same development. OK, it's exactly the same with your brain that, you know, doing something every day. And then there are points where we'll cover key subjects more than once. You won't repeat the same question, but we will revise the topic by doing different questions to make sure you've understood the subject. You can see, if you haven't done it the first time and then you're trying to cram it, that's not the same way that you will retain that and it'll go into your long-term memory as that you've learned a subject once and covered a more difficult or uh, you know slightly different aspect of it later on. Okay, so the email will hit your inbox. And it's really important that you add our e email, info at emedica.co.uk. Someone in the team will type that into the chat so you can all see it. Make sure you've added that to your white list or safe list, or you, know, you can set up filters, for example, so that that never goes to spam. And if you don't get the email by sort of 10 minutes after five o'clock, first thing I recommend you do is check spam. If it's not there, contact us. And as soon as the office is open, you know, we'll make sure we forward it on to you. But the, the thing that you can do to, you know, increase the chance that you, it doesn't go to spam is to add it directly to your whitelist or set up a filter. OK, so once you get that email, that email will contain links to a question of the day. You do the question of the day, check the answer, do the relevant reading. There's a link for relevant reading. There will be links to online revision questions to do. So on weekdays, there'll be one section of questions. On weekends, there'll be two sections of questions to do. OK, again, you want to do all of the questions, read the answers, read the explanations. There'll be links to reading. So some of the reading will be from the Oxford Handbook of General Practice. Some of it will be NICE CKS or other national sources of guidance. There'll be sometimes learning exercises different to the online revision. So those are the daily tasks. There'll be case cards to read, okay? Um, so you know, you've got access to the digital ones already, um, and in your welcome box is a set of the, the physical case cards. So you know we'll tell you which ones to read when. The weekly tasks are a variety of different things. And one of the things that we try to do is maximize different modes of learning. So some of the weekly tasks will be videos. Some of them will be learning exercise. Some of them will be getting you to write your own summaries on key topics that you struggle with. And by thinking about and writing your own summaries, that embeds things into your long-term memory. Some of them will be additional online revision, sometimes from different sources, like the RCGP self-test. Some of them will be RCGP knowledge, knowledge challenges and, and so on, okay? So I'll show you exactly how that looks in a minute, but the Oxford Handbook of General Practice, we use as one of the sources of reading. There are some things in it because the most recent version, you must have the fifth edition, Again, if you haven't got it, someone will post this link for you into the group. Um, most people have this because when they start GP training, they buy it. But if you don't, you know, you can get this. You can buy it. If you want the paper version, it'll probably be with you tomorrow or the day after if you order it from Amazon today. Okay. Uh, they do also have a Kindle version. Um, 
but because it was published in 2020, there may be a few things that when you read here and later at the courses, you will see that I will cover the most up-to-date guideline because there might be a few guidelines that have already changed. So you know, use this as a starting point. It gives you some good learning. It gives you a, a base. And there may be the odd thing that we will update you because things move on very quickly. It's the nature of anything printed. You know, most things like this, they update them every four or five years. These get updated twice a year. That's hard to do, though. OK, uh, um, even then, sometimes things will change. Right. Uh, you know, so if you haven't got this, make sure you've got it by the time we start the program. Um, and then it's really important that you track your progress throughout and enjoy the little wings. So you've got the daily progress tracker, which is on the back of the postcard with the um, welcome message of the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And you've got the curriculum checklist. So, you know, the daily tracker looks like this. And this is each day when you have finished all of your work from the daily task and you've submitted it, put this on a notice board somewhere and tick it. That way you can track that, you know, okay, I've done today's work and it's really satisfying when you get to the bottom of this column here, you'd be like, you know what? I'm nearly a quarter of the way through the program now. And by the time you get here, you're like, you know what? I'm, I'm bang on halfway now. By the time you get here, you think, you know what? I'm more than two thirds of the way done. And then here you're like, you know what? I'm in that last month, that key period where I'm going to consolidate all my learning. And, you know, I will have done a lot of the taught part, the webinars and courses, a lot of them will be done now. We'll be doing lots of mocks in this section, but it's going to help you consolidate that. You know, when you get here and you look back and you see 90 ticks, 90 days worth of work complete. It's a hugely satisfying feeling. Similarly, you will have access to a digital version of the curriculum checklist, but in your welcome pack is a printed one. And one of the things I, again, recommend that you do is by the end of the program, we will have ticked everything off. There's like 580 topics taken from the curriculum that are the key of the AKT curriculum, okay? And they're split into the clinical domain, the evidence interpretation domain and the organizational domain. But, you know, as you do some questions or you do some reading or you do a case card, as you have covered a topic and you feel confident, you know what, I've mastered that topic, tick it off. And what you'll see is that the beginning is completely empty. And then you'll have a few ticks here, a few ticks here. You know, we'll do some stats, some admin, some clinical right from the beginning. We're not going to do all the clinical and leave, you know, key things like this to the end. You'll see that throughout the program, we're going to do, uh, you know, some of everything. Okay. But, you know, what you'll see is these gaps start getting filled. And when you look back again, you know, when you're in that last few days and you look back and you see this whole thing is ticked off and you see that all of these are ticked off. And then the other thing I recommend in your welcome pack, you've got your e-medical notebook. Every single day before you tick that your day one tasks are all done, what I recommend you do is just put down four or five key learning points from your reading and the questions and different things that you've done in that daily task into your notebook. And what that does is that, you know, in that last week, 10 days, when you're coming up to your final revision, you will have your own notes. And the fact that you're thinking about and writing those notes will help things go into long-term memory. But it's really helpful. People have told us from, you know, we started this fairly recently that you, I've seen people who've taken pictures and just showing a textbook full of notes, right? A, a notebook full of notes that they've made. And it just makes it really easy to read back and just see how much have you learned, okay? It's gonna really, really give you a boost to your confidence. It makes a big difference to your performance and calming your nerves on the day of the exam, okay? So let me show you how the email looks and then I'll show you how you go through it and how to submit your work. You must submit your work every single day on time and then your weekly tasks again by the deadline and one of the things that's really important why we want you to make sure you submit all your work is that we gather data from all of the different work and the subjects that you do at the beginning part of the program so that in the last 30 days every single one of you will have an individual learning plan drawn out for you we will have analyzed your data and worked out what are your weakest areas. And there might be things that you don't like. There might be things that uh, you know you did less well in. And often people don't feel like reading things they do less well in or that don't like, but we will give you each a different program. And some of you, for example, you might have done less well in women's health and we might give you more work to do in women's health in that last month. Someone else did really well in women's health, less well in neurology. They're gonna get more work in neurology in that last month. 
So every single person, and it's one of the reasons we have a limit to how many people we take on each cohort, is that our team has to manually analyze this data and come up with an individual plan for each of you. Okay, and and so that's why we gather all this data. So it's really important that you submit it so we can track it. But I'll show you how it works. Okay, so what will happen is that you'll get actually before day one day one is thursday okay the program starts on thursday on wednesday you'll actually get a day zero email which will just give you some reading that you could start doing before we even start it's going to help you with some of the questions you're going to do on the first day but i'll show you what the day one email looks like okay so day one email let me just make it a bit smaller so it's easier for you guys to all see um so it will say the day of the email and essentially all you do is you work your way down and just do all the tasks so <clears throat> Day one, there's a welcome exercise. When you click this, <clears throat> one of the things that we want you to do, put your name, use the same email throughout the whole program, and this should be the same email that you registered with so that we can match your data up, okay? Is we want you to start thinking about the five topics that you feel least confident in for your AKT right at the beginning. And it needs to be specific. So for example, it needs to be something that in a day you could read and make a concise summary of. So it's no good, for example, saying ENT. ENT is huge. You can't read the whole of ENT in a day, can you? But within ENT, it could be something specific, like many years disease. Similarly, don't put the whole of stats. You can't cover the whole of stats, can you? All right. But it might be that there's one specific type of graph within stats that you've always struggled with. Okay, that'll be fine. So you type down your topics, okay, and submit it. And then one of the things that you're going to do in your weekly exercise at the beginning is we're going to ask you to read up on those topics that you feel least confident in and prepare a concise little summary and you know your, your own little notes it's going to help you to start mastering them okay there will be a link to this orientation video so that if you want to watch it back again there's no link now because we have to process this video you know we're filming it right now okay but essentially each day the main bulk of things are going to be a question of the day online questions case cards to read okay and then reading to start helping you prepare. And this is the exact pages in the printed version of the Oxford Handbook of General Practice. So you can start doing some reading to prepare. So let me just show you, you click this, okay? And then it's important that you put in the same email that you registered, but I'll put our email, info at emedica.co.uk. You read the question, you select whatever you think, let's say I thought it was A, okay? Click next, it'll tell you if you're right or wrong. It'll tell you the explanation, and then you click through, and you do the relevant reading, okay? Um, then back to your email, click through online revision. It will ask you to log in, by the way. Now, I've already logged in, okay? Um, let me start from the beginning. So here we're doing cardiovascular. You do your question, okay? Read the explanations as you go, okay? Keep going. Once you've done the whole lot, when you get to the end, it will give you a score, okay, as a percentage. So once you've got that, when you come to submit, make sure you write down the score because you're gonna to need to enter that score. I'll show you that in a minute, okay? So then you've got your case card. So it tells you which case cards to read. If you, those of you that are joined late, if you haven't got your welcome box with the physical cards yet, you can click this, log in, and you can read. And so we're gonna do number one and number two, okay? So look, you can make this full screen if you want, okay? It's got the index. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna read page one, page two, okay? Card one, card two. If you've got the physical ones, again, they're numbered. So you can just do the ones that it's telling you to do, okay? Now, once you've done all of these, these are the daily tasks, you must confirm. So you click confirm. And then again, put your name. So I'll put my name here. I'm gonna put my email, which is the eMedica email. So it matches what I've done. And then in this case, I did cardiovascular, right? I'm going to put my score. So, you know, let's say you scored 50%. And as Masuda, Anna, and Kennedy said, your scores are really not important in terms of how are you progressing. They're important for us because we're going to help use that to identify which areas you need the most work on. But early on, and even, even up to sort of the last, um, maybe up until the last couple of weeks of the program, you will see that a lot of these scores won't be passing scores. But remember, this is not an assessment. This is a learning program. Our questions, the e-medical questions, are deliberately 
on the hard side of what the real questions in the AKT are, because they're designed for learning. So don't worry if you score 50%, 40%, 30%, that's normal. Lots of people fail nearly every single question block they do from eMedica for most of the program. And it's towards the end because you haven't done all of the learning yet. You haven't done all of the talk part either. It's towards the end when you've done all of the full day courses, all of the webinars, they've done all of the reading by then, you've mastered the guidelines and worked on exam technique. That's where you'll see in the mocks that we do right at the end, you'll see it all starts to come together because you've both consolidated the knowledge and improved your exam technique. So don't worry about scores, but you need to record it so that we actually know, okay? Now, you'll see here what second subject, if applicable. You can see like today, there's only one subject to do, right? On the weekend, on weekend days, you'll have two. So let's say you'd also done eyes and vision. You'd put your score for that, okay? And then on some days, we might ask you to do some questions from the RCGP, in which case you can download the certificate and upload it here. And if you've got any comments, anything like that, you can put it here, okay? If you don't leave that blank, when you click submit, can you see, it tells me my name here. So you know now your submission has been recorded. Now you can go back to your... Oh. You can go back to your tracker and tick it. Tick that after you've submitted it, okay? Um, so, you know, you know it's done, okay? And then if I go back to the email, that's the daily tasks. You'll see the weekly task for this first week is to create topic reviews for the five subjects that you identified in this welcome exercise. Once you've done that, for each one, you put your name and email once, but for each one, you can see your first one, you upload the file as a PDF or uh, an image. You pick an image. You know, the second one, again, you upload and submit exactly the same way. Then you go to the bottom and you start doing this reading in preparation for questions that are going to come in the next email. Okay, this is going to help you start. You're not going to cover every single bit of reading that you need because you know there wouldn't be time, but it's going to give you some pointers, going to give you a starting point, okay? There'll be a reminder of the next live session. So you can see the next live session is High Yield Revision Webinar 1, which is an uh, hour of doing uh, you know questions and catching up with how you're finding the program. That's going to be on the 3rd of August, 8 to 9 p.m. And then there'll be a link to the resources, but at the moment this doesn't link because your resources page hasn't been set up because your program hasn't started. But once it does, once you click it, it will look, Something like this. So when you start, it will have, you know, um, a link to the orientation video. After we've done the first high yield webinar, there'll be a link to this. OK. And then after we've done the second one, the link to this will automatically appear. You'll be able to download the topic review here. Eventually, by the end, you'll have links to all of the courses, all of the webinars. Everything will be on this one page. So at any point you want to find anything. You just click this resource page and you'll find it. Similarly, on that page, there will be a link to the digital case cards. There'll be a link to the, the, the checklist as a downloadable version, although you'll have the printed versions within your um, welcome pack. So, you know, everything will be handily available to you easily. So essentially, look, start at the top of the email, work your way down, click all the links, do all of the work, do all of the questions, do all the reading, and make sure you submit your work on time. Okay. And that's how it works. Okay. So really just want to say huge welcome to the program and myself and the whole team are looking forward to working with you, guiding you, supporting you every step of the way. We are here to help you until the very last day and beyond. And like anything in life, prepare and you will succeed. And you know, you do all the work, you're going to be ready, you're going to pass your exam, okay? So thank you very much and welcome to the program.